The former Speaker of the Legislature, Masizolo Ngasela, will be launching a new political party in Mitchell's Plain in Cape Town today. He was a prominent uh, Democratic Alliance member and the Speaker of the Western Cape Legislature, but they fell out after the party uh, charged him with misconduct following reports of alleged irregular travel and entertainment allowance claims. Ngasela and the DA had several court battles over his dismissal from a political and a government position. He officially announced uh, his departure from the DA last month. Ngasela says so the new party aligns with uh, his core values. Vanessa Puna is at the Rocklands Civic Center in Mitchell's Plain where that launch is taking place. Vanessa, uh, good morning to you. Great to see you once again. So I want to talk about the venue, first of all, of where you're standing. Quite ironic. I think it was about, uh, is it um, 40 years ago that the UDF was uh, formed exactly where you are standing, and this is where Masizolem Ngasela is launching his political party. Salda, yes, good morning to you. And indeed, uh, the symbolism is not lost uh, in uh, the choosing of this venue for the launch of this new political party. We don't know too much about it as yet, as the program is only due to start in uh, the next uh, 15 minutes to half an hour. But you've said there that 40 years ago, and this year will mark its 40th anniversary of the launch of the UDF in August. And of course, you'll remember back in, in those days, the Civic Centre behind me, and I'll just step out of shot, was of course filled to the rafters uh, as hundreds of different formations of political uh, parties and civic organizations came together under the banner of the UDF and of course just now a speaker addressing the crowd here was saying uh, that of course the formation of the UDF changed the landscape and changed the face uh, of uh, South Africa and of course this is uh, what uh, Masizolim Kasela uh, says uh, this new party aims to do um, of course his recent break with the Democratic alliance following um, a period of acrimony, of course, all starting with um, allegations uh, of irregular expenditure with regards to travel and entertainment claims, and then also uh, the party's uh, federal commission then, of course, finding him uh, guilty of making disparaging remarks against the party. So he's parted ways with the DA after a career of some 20 years. Um, He's held the position of an MP in the National Assembly for the Democratic Alliance. He was a councillor in the city of Cape Town uh, and more recently, of course, uh, the Speaker of the Provincial Parliament. Uh, now, Masizole um, Kasela says uh, that he has been approached by members of various civic and other organizations to start his party. He claims uh, that people are indeed um, tired of the direction in which South Africa is going. He claims that neither the ANC nor the DA can offer uh, the people uh, of South Africa what they do need. Now, I don't have any um, party manifesto or any details around this party. All I can tell you is, Chrisaldi, if I step out of shot here for a second, it seems to me that the colors of this party will be something along the purple lines, um, uh, given the, the uh, the drapings and as well as the balloons, but uh, as to the name of the party and also who indeed will be uh, representatives of the party in the various provinces are all uh, said to be made known just now when uh, Masizoli uh, um, Kasela comes onto the podium here to make uh, those remarks and also uh, to chart the way forward for what this party will stand for. Um, and of course, with the upcoming uh, elections next year, uh, the plans uh, for, for this party to contest uh, whether it will be provincially or um, across the country. Uh, Vanessa, you know, I was thinking a bit earlier on uh, when we uh, heard that uh, we'll be uh, crossing to you on the launch of this party that the ballot paper seems to be getting longer and longer in the head up to next year's uh, local government, uh, local government, the national elections, of course. And, um, you know, uh, do we, uh, would this be classified as a revenge party uh, at all, given, you know, the acrimonious relationship between, uh, you know, the Democratic Alliance and uh, uh, Masizolem Ngasela, how they basically parted ways? And, I mean, could he be looking to woo uh, perhaps other members of the Democratic Alliance uh, who are perhaps unhappy within the party to bolster his efforts even going forward? 
Griselda, yes. Um, you talk about uh, the long list of political parties, and I mean, just uh, judging by the number of parties contesting in the Western Cape in the previous municipal elections, just under 50, I think, and that's only in the Western Cape. So, of course, um, Masizole Mkasela um, has stated that he would welcome, and also there have been talks that some senior members um, of, of the DA may cross over. I mean, we, of course, don't know that as a fact until such an announcement is made. Uh, whether or not Masizole Mkasela um, has come out uh, uh, to start this party uh, due to the acrimony with the Democratic Alliance also remains to be seen, but he is adamant that he wants to serve the people of South Africa, that he could no longer do so in the Democratic Alliance. And of course, uh, once we know exactly what this party stands for, who their target um, um, will be in terms of the electorate, not just here in the province, but also countrywide, we'll be able to know a bit more um, and be able to analyze exactly what the aims of this political party is. Uh, Chris Alda, I can tell you that at the moment, uh, very scarce and sparse information, but we will bring you up to speed and up to date with the latest as and when uh, that information is made available to us. Well, Vanessa, I know you said that not much is known about this party at the moment, but I mean, uh, is there any way we could deduce at this particular point what could be some of those, uh, you know, uh, things that this new political party uh, would use uh, in the Western Cape to try and, uh, you know, woo voters on the basis of some of the challenges that are being experienced there. Maybe those who might feel that they're being marginalized by the Democratic Alliance who are, uh, uh, you know, uh, leading that particular province, uh, who feel that they're not getting what they need to get from those in charge there. Would that be possibly some of, uh, you know, the, w the ways that this political party, uh, you know, would try to woo some of these voters? I know we don't know much at this stage. Chris Alder, yes, indeed. And I mean, that's exactly uh, the statements that have been made uh, by Gasela when he announced that he will be um, starting this new political formation. Um, he was talking about um, even members within the Democratic Alliance being uh, disillusioned uh, with um, what he calls the I suppose a refusal at some point uh, to uh, understand uh, the feelings around, um, you know, large segments of society in terms of where our country's history comes from. Um, we, we speak about this at every election. We talk about this concept of the colored vote. I'm not quite sure whether that will be uh, part of the strategy of this new political party, but indeed, Priscilla, I do think uh, that uh, this party will intend uh, to make inroads into those who do feel disillusioned uh, with uh, not just the ruling party here in the Western Cape, but perhaps those who have um, lost faith in other political parties. I mean, uh, the ANC has just recently had the uh, regional conference here in the Western Cape. Uh, we do know that uh, voter turnout, for example, at all the elections have decreased steadily uh, since the first elections um, uh, in 1994. I think it was at 87% at the time um, in the previous election, uh, uh, going all the way down to 66%. And of course, uh, the issue around voter apathy, specifically young, among the youth, has also been a challenge. We do know that the IEC had over the past while uh, been going on um, on their campaigns to get the youth uh, registered to vote in the upcoming election. So I think that um, you know a new political party would uh, would concentrate on getting those uh, voters, eligible voters that have not yet registered to be registered and then secondly to make inroads into the the, the leading political party, the one leading the province, but also uh, then to woo voters away from, from parties which they may feel have not delivered um, and have not uh, seen to their needs. So, so it's anybody's guess at this point, Grisalda, like I say, we don't know because we haven't been told as yet, but those are the sort of dynamics which one can expect coming out of um, any new uh, political party formation. And of course, we await that announcement a uh, year later on today at the Rockland Civic Centre in Mitchell's Plain. Uh, former DA member uh, Masizole Mgasela launching his uh, political party uh, there in uh, Mitchell's Plain in uh, the Western Cape. Uh, Vanessa Puna will give us another update a bit later on uh, after the name of this political party has uh, been made uh, public and of course uh, what the founding principles are. We're certainly going to hear that uh, uh, in that launch as well uh, by Masizole Mgasela.